Hey guys, Sav here, back with uh, part two of Living World Season 3, Chapter 4. Uh, I am at the Plaza of Lissa in Divinity's Reach, and this is the portal into the new map. A uh, little spoiler, before we get there, it's Lake Dork, guys. I know what they said. They said it wasn't going to be Lake Dork. It's Lake Dork. It's not the same map, though. Access to Lake Dork. Dork is currently restricted. Please come back later. I have orders from Captain Thackeray to meet him in Dork's Landing. Oh, Commander, my apologies. I have to say that to everyone. Please go right ahead and good luck. Not a problem. Let's go. And you see the little uh, no sign in front of it is gone, and I can just walk right in. Glad you're here, Commander. We could use your help. Commander, glad you're here. Captain Thackeray's down south of here in the command tent. What happened here? When the White Mantle launched a surprise attack on Divinity's Reach, the Lake Dork locks were destroyed in the initial bombardment. It drained the lake and took a couple ships with it. Were there any survivors? We've, noted, we've, we've received reports of many survivors in the area, fortunately. But if we don't put a stop to this, the White Mantle will hunt them all down. And we have work to do. Thank you. Use an extra pair of hands to deliver these rations to soldiers around the base. If you find other ration crates scattered around the ships along the piers, you can drop them off here too. I have spent about, I don't know, about 10-15 minutes in this map with, with my other character just kind of running around looking around. I haven't done anything yet, so everything story-wise is still fresh and new to me. Those are dangerous times. There he is. Welcome to Lake Doric, Commander. What's left of it? The locks alone will take years to rebuild. But that worry can wait. Right now, our focus is repelling the siege and saving as many lives as we can. And once that's through, we crush Codicus into a fine paste. I don't believe we've been introduced. Turns out the Char hate Codicus just as much as we do. This is Legionnaire Melia Steelpaw. She's volunteered her troops to help us. The White Mantle can't be allowed to ruin everything our races have built together. This is our fight, too. The help's appreciated. It's an honor to fight alongside you. Back to the matter at hand. There are a few key areas around Lake Dora we need eyes on. Spies have infiltrated our ranks, but I trust you beyond any doubt. So the task is yours. You can count on me. Word from the Seraph suggests incursions throughout Lake Dork. But for the moment, our intelligence is spotty at best. Come take a look at the map, and I'll tell you what we know. We received reports of survivors in the forest up north, Sadra's Haven to the east, and New Lomehurst to the southeast. We have troops at the Lakeside Bazaar looking after our supply lines, but I'd like you to check in on the lines as well. We can't allow any further devastation of this region. If you see anything else of interest, please include it in your report. Before you begin your reconnaissance, there's a Shining Blade agent south of here who wants a word with you. His name's Calden. He says he has something that'll help us win this war. Alrighty. <clears throat> I could outrun a centaur. Ah, Commander. Captain Thackeray said he'd be sending you my way. I'm Exemplar Calder. As you're aware, the Shining Blade has been fighting the Mersat for a long, long time. Studying them, too. And we've recently made a breakthrough that might help us turn the tables on the White Mantle. We can use all the help we can get. Go on. Being that this isn't your first run-in with Jade Constructs, I'm sure you're familiar with Spectral Agony? Yes. I've had the pleasure of having my insides torn apart by that particular magic. 
The Mursat's ability to phase between our world and the Mists allows them to tap into magics unobtainable in the mortal realm. Spectral Agony is the pinnacle of this ability, and we think we've found a way to harness a form of it for our own use. You've reproduced the powers of the Mursat? Yes. Well, in a sense. With some limitations. You see, unlike a Mursat or their constructs, you can't phase between our world and the Mists at will. But while close to death, you've already got one foot in the Mists. At death's door, as they say. Using remnants of Jade constructs, I fashioned a sigil that allows you to cast Spectral Agony when you're near death. I try to make it a habit to avoid those almost dead moments. But this does sound intriguing. But I'll warn you. The longer you tap into this power, the more it will pull you into the next world. Use it wisely. Once you've had a chance to familiarize yourself with the sigil, come see me if you'd like an advanced demonstration. Okay. <clears throat> you keep actually giving me No. Alright, so we got a little checklist to do. So it's, uh... Curious if... Because sometimes these, uh... These, uh... <clears throat> story steps kind of blend together. Uh, so we're still... Okay. We're still in Eyes on Lake Dork. So we're going to go... Do all this checklist stuff. Scout the Harvest Cascades for Refugees. Verify the state of Sager's Haven. Check in at New Loamhurst. And search the Lakeside Bazaar for allies. straight apparently. Yeah, I really run crooked. <laughs> This is really cool looking. I wish it looked like this from Queensdale, but it doesn't. It's kind of one thing. Like I, I understand, I guess, why they don't do it, but like, I don't know. I wish they would give you more of the feeling of a living world, not just a chapter of the world stuck in time. You know what I mean? And it's not that big of a deal if it goes away after a while and people who come to the game later don't experience it because it's not that big of a deal. Such a small fishing village. I hope the families are able to recover from this. Okay, that's it. I checked in at New Loamhurst. Nope. I checked in at New Loamhurst. That's all I had to do was just walk to the area. Okay. So there's a lot of Seraph here. They're fighting a J construct over here. Doesn't look like I have to do the hearts, at least not right now, so I'm going to move on. Ooh, look at this place. Oh, this is a cool place. Temple of the Six. Huh. Cool area.
just... Oh, damn it. There he is, sitting for say. Ah, it's the commander. Come to complicate my day even further, have you? Logan asked me to check in on the Seraph's operations here. What's going on? I heard a commotion earlier. Oh, that? That was nothing. Just a little raw, seething frustration I needed to let loose. I'll be fine. I've been tapped as the civilian envoy for the Seraph's supply line operations here. Keeping pace with them is challenging. But someone's got to build the crown for all these resources once the war's over. Every last item will be accounted for. Very patriotic of you. What can I do for you? Looks like things are running smoothly around here, though. The Seraph is a well-oiled machine when push comes to shove. They didn't waste a moment once the attack was sprung. The bazaar is probably the most secure location in Lake Doric. I doubt the White Mantle will have much luck seizing it. That's not to say there isn't lots of work to be done if you want to chip in. As you may have noticed, I only have two hands. Maybe later. I'm on orders from Thackeray to recon the rest of Lake Doric before we plan our next move. Very well. Tell the captain that his supply lines are well looked after. And watch your back out there, Commander. Well, I'm kind of happy they reused somebody from earlier parts of the story. He was a very minor character, but I remember him very well because, like I said, he he's part of... Um, you do him. You do. You basically help him um, transport some materials as, as part of the uh, Chapter Ten story mission. So that's way back, way, way, way back. I do it once a week, but I mean, in in, in the grand scheme of things, it's like one of the very first things you do. They still call you a hero, of Shamor. I'm surprised you actually refer to me as hero. That'd be funny. Uh, there's two more stars left to go to. Looks like we're heading towards the one right now. That one's way, way north, so. I could outrun a oh, this one doesn't. Sadra's Haven seems to be holding itself together. We'll have to make sure this stays out of White Mantle control. How many hearts are in this map? Six. Wow, there's six hearts in this map. See me holding himself together. There's White Mantle, you know, just kind of roaming around here. But <clears throat> oh, I want the forgotten chest. These jade fragments that give you jade shards are kind of like the new bloodstone rubies or whatever for this map. So. <clears throat> I will be doing map completion for this map off camera, and hopefully, I'll have uh, you know a tips and tricks video uh, sometime shortly after. Probably, it, I might have to wait until after the Let's Play is finished, so we'll see. <clears throat> it's a pretty cool looking uh, foresty area. Looks kind of Ascalonian, though. Heading the wrong way. Attacking a lone house all the way up here. What could the White Mantle be after? Commander, are you reading me? Go ahead, Timing. Get ready for the dragon battle to end all dragon battles! A steamy wing fist to icy face shall fight to the death! It's Jordan versus Primordus! Uh, am I to infer? The experiment was a success! And I'm having the heart of Omad's machine delivered to Rada Novus. With it, I should be able to see the eternal alchemy and manipulate the dragon's energies to pit them against one another. 
Spencer's research is continuing to pay dividends. I haven't had the best track record guiding members of this guild, so I'll say this as a word of caution. Scarlet. Okay, A, I'm not a dragon minion, and B, the lives we'll save are worth the risk, and I think you might agree with that. I do. Just be careful. What could go wrong? You know what? It feels like I shouldn't say that. I bet a ton of stuff can go wrong. Bye! Alrighty. Uh, now what? Speak with Logan. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to get this uh, waypoint over here. No way point back. Back and in one piece. I assume you have a report for us. Indeed. The Seraph have the bazaar well secured, but the mantle's making gains elsewhere in the region. Cedra's Haven is definitely a target. We should send some support that way. I'll try to get a detachment out there as soon as possible. What else? The White Mantle have taken an interest in New Loamhurst, as well as a heavily fortified house in the forest north of here. Hmm. If it's of interest to the enemy, it's of interest to us. I appreciate your efforts, Commander. Thanks to you, we're a little less blind in this battle. While you were scouting, we heard that the White Mantle have taken Fort Avenia, bolstering their eastern flank's defenses. Worse yet, there's some sort of magical storm forming over the fort. We can't risk a frontal assault. There's supposed to be a Shining Blade agent stationed in that area. One well-versed in the art of sabotage. I think the two of you could do a lot of damage together. Go track down the agent. See if you can do something about the white mantle who occupy that fort. All right, nice little exploring chapter there, or chapter part, whatever. I don't know what to call it. So that was part two, guys, of uh, Living Story Season Three, ch Chapter Four. I will see you guys next time for part three.